Yeah, yeah. We we get the comments that you were not moving fast enough. Let me get you up to speed on what we've been working on. We have built a mock-up of the motor and the battery boxes. In the, the round section is actually the inverter that sits on the front plate of the motor. And the box in the front is the batteries. It's four of the Tesla batteries stacked in front of each other. In the back, you see that we have two battery boxes stacked on top of each other. Each box contains six batteries. The back will also contain the BMS, battery management system, as well as the charger. Dan's gonna walk us through how it all works. This, our uh, power port, right, where it's plug in and recharge the car, will go into here, okay. the BMS. BMS will manage the charger. And so I, I put it back here because we've got the two battery boxes that reduces the amount of wiring and everything. And uh, this is that, that and this are the two bulkiest items back here. Yes. If I'm not mistaken, right? Yes, yeah. Well, because I'm, I'm assuming we'll put the contactor box up front and I've got the DC to DC converter up there because that's where the auxiliary battery is going to go. Up right. front. So, and, and the DC to DC converter charges the auxiliary battery. So this, the, the inlet port charges into BMS, BMS manages the chargers. These plug into the battery, so you got most of your connections here, even though it'll be around the front where they connect in. Um, the thing that we don't have is the pump and the uh, circulator for the coolant and we could probably put those up front as well um, and so that's what we have kind of back here and, and kind of how this is coming there are a few other things that we need to put back here but this is by far most of it so this does that require airflow for cooling uh no this has a fan on it yes for cooling so are we good if we take this and build a bracket and put it in here to clean we, it up. We could, we could put it in the side of the car, yes. We could put it over in the side. It needs to, this is the best position for this to be in, is the way that it's sitting right now. You can, Just you can set it, it up, but the, the, but the fans, the heat will rise. But if we took the whole thing and set it just like that, yep. and tucked it in here. We right? could tuck it in there. And then we could leave. So leave Gives this facing out so it gets the most airflow. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If we had a, uh, a solid mount back there, we would definitely got enough room to put that in there. And same way with this one, we could take this off of here and put it over here, and get it out of the way, and it gives us a little bit more room to put, you know, our golf clubs or whatever. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> those batteries are going to eat up all the space, but. Yeah. The more stuff that we can tuck back into here, yeah. I think the better off we're going to be. Because we'll, the sides here, we'll have to keep open for lines and wiring and yeah. coolant lines. Exactly. Yeah. But this would this would tuck perfectly into that hole. Yeah, and 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 this would too. This would pull back in here, and then in the front. You know, battery box, uh, inverter, motor. Um, so DC to DC, and assuming the auxiliary battery is going to sit in that corner, and then this can go on the side. Uh, as, and our contactor box could actually go up here, but thinking we can mount that on that, oops, mount that on that side. And it, it'll just sit right up there on the, on the fender well, or you know, for that matter, we could put it up here too, it, it, uh, in the firewall. Yeah, there there would be enough room for it to sit, you know, kind of right in here in the firewall. But what well, we haven't uh, done much in the way of you know putting a heater or anything. I think most of that's going to fit up under the dash. 
with the heater and stuff we can yeah and even well i don't know if we want the vacuum pump inside the car just because it's noisy yeah it could it could sit out here but the vacuum pump even we could hide in the in the trunk as well yeah um and we'll have you know again wiring harness and coolant flow out of, in and out of the battery box Um, we'll have, uh, I've got a fuse box that's sitting down there. Uh, uh, we'll have a fuse box and a couple of other bus bars on how we distribute uh, the electric get into the, uh, into the contactor box.